Peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. Back from another video. This one's going to be about seven signs. God is preparing you to be a chosen one. And uh, the Bible says that all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer prosecution. So being a chosen one, as you're being, becoming a chosen one, it's going to be so crazy. Life is like, I still remember like three, four years ago, like everything changed, man. Everything changed when the Holy Spirit comes on you. Like you're going to see this world differently. And a lot of people, remember the Bible says many are called, few are chosen. So many people are going to experience what I'm going to go over. Many people experience it. And only few are willing to pick up, their, deny themselves, pick up their cross and follow them. Only few are willing to do that because people want to still be a part of this world. They want to fit in. And God's not looking for people who want to fit in this world. He's looking for people who want to be set apart. The people who want to separate from the company of the unwicked, the, uh, the wicked, the ungodly. He's looking for people to be set apart, man. So let's get, let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for 100,000 subscribers. I'm gonna be doing a live tomorrow about that. But anyways, let's get it, let's go. The first thing, now this is not an order, but um, this is one thing I noticed, well, the first thing I noticed when God was preparing me to be a chosen one was isolation and feeling alone. I felt like I was the only one who knew what was going on in this world. God was giving me knowledge. Remember the Bible says the spirit, uh, the Holy Spirit, the gifts are knowledge and wisdom. So I was understanding like, so I was I was I wasn't worshiping celebrities, but like I cared about what what they were doing, and I didn't know that you know these celebrities, the mainstream ones, they sold their soul. You know I didn't know that, so I'm like, God's like giving me all this. And remember the rabbit hole. The truth is like it's all levels to it. So that was like the beginning stages of it, right? I started learning like who re runs the world. I was learning like it doesn't matter if Biden is president or Trump is president. It doesn't matter because Satan is, a, is the god of this earth. He's the one who's controlling everything. So God was giving me a lot of wisdom. And, you know, I was feeling a lot of trying to tell people what God was showing me. And people were like, oh, you're crazy. You're weird. So, and because they told me that, I was, you know, I lived in isolation, feeling alone. I was trying to tell people what God was showing me. And no one really, and at that time, I didn't understand it. But now I understand it's because they weren't being called yet. They weren't, or, and it, it's not, maybe it's not their time. Everyone has their time. Everything is a season, guys. Everything is a season. So, it was, just wasn't their season to know. God just chose me and it was feeling very alone. So, count it all joy, guys, if you have a brother or sister or family member who's in the truth because it's really rare to find people like mine that are chosen too. So number two would be, uh, this also links to number one, you lose, start to lose friends, family, and maybe even relationships, okay? The reason why you lose friends and family relationships is because where God has taken you, they can't go, okay? Many are called for your chosen, and the Bible even says, if you love your father, mother, uh, daughter, wife, children, uh, more than me, you are not worthy of me. So if God and God's testing you, if, if you can't, if you're not willing to lose your friends, your family, and your relationships, you ain't you ain't ready to be a chosen one. Okay, God's not looking for the people who still want to have one foot in, one foot out. He's not looking for the lukewarm. He's looking for the people who are fired up, flames. Woo! He's looking for the people who are willing to serve Him humbly uh, and and full heartedly. You know, the, He's looking for the people who love Him with all their heart, all their mind all their soul and, and, and strength. That's the, and in the might. That's what he's looking for. He's not looking for people who still want to hold on to these these devils. Not to say that they're devils, but you know, sometimes the guys, we could be sleeping next to the enemy. We could be in these relationships. I remember the Bible says what God brings together, let no man separate. But sometimes Satan could bring, you know, you, know, you to, could bring you a Jezebel, uh, Ahab, um, you know, a succubus, incubus. So the devil can bring people in your way too. So if you're not ready to lose friends and family, and uh, relationships, guys, you're not ready to be a chosen one, man. Remember, the Bible says only few find that narrow path. And the reason why only few find it is because people aren't really, are willing to lose their mom, their dad. They're, they're just so trying to love their, their, their father, their mother more than him. Okay, And you got to understand that's messed up because he died on the tree for our sins. And you're, and you're going to pick your temporary friends, your family. Even the Bible says, who was my father? Who was my brother? Even Jesus said, um, Jesus, Jesus, master, your, your mom, uh, I forgot the whole verse. I'll leave it right here. And then Jesus says, who is my mother? Who is my father? But he who does the will of the father, that is my brother. That is my, my mother. So people who keep God's commandments, that's your brother. That's your sister. Okay. That, that's, that's, that's your real family. Even, even Jesus told him to his own mom. He said, wait, wait, wait. Only, only, only my, 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 the people who do the will. Keep the commandments of God. Those are the people who my brother, my mother, my sister, let's go, bro. Jesus was a man of truth. You got you to gotta, you gotta love this truth. I'm telling you guys, this is how you transform yourself. Not being religious, but being loving the truth, being set apart. You're either religious or set apart. You can't be both. I choose to be set apart. Woo! All right, number three. Okay? No longer caring for things of this world. We know what the Bible says. I'll leave a scripture right here. It says that if any man loves this world, the love of the Father is not in him. So when, he, when God's prepared to be a chosen one, right? 
You no longer care for the things of this world. You no longer care about the material things. You no longer care about um, how much points LeBron James scored. You don't care about what celebrities are doing this, a like Kylie Jenner new makeup. You don't care about that no more. You don't care. You no longer care about the things of this world, okay? This is how you know God's preparing you to be a chosen one. And this is how you know that your mind is being renewed. Uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1 to 2. This is how you know your mind's being renewed. Because before before this, you cared for the things of this world. So God's renewing your mind. And remember, guys, it's patience. Be, let patience have a perfect work, that, may, that you may be perfect and tired, wanting nothing. Okay, so it all takes time, all right? And I, like I said, I understand this, guys. You, um, being the chosen one, you watch a lot of videos on YouTube about chosen one. They make it seem like it's all rainbows and skittles, but no. Those who live godly in Christ Jesus that suffer prosecution, it's going to be, it's going to feel like hell. But understand, even Jesus had to go through hell to get to the kingdom. And now what, what Jesus is ruling, dominion over everything, dominion over these demons, dominion over these angels, dominion over the whole earth. He had to go through hell to get that. He had to go through the Judas. He had to go through uh, people uh, betraying him, uh, Peter. He had to go through all that to get the glory. So the same thing with you, you being the chosen one. What does the Bible say? It says that the servant is not better than the master. If they prosecuted me, they'll prosecute you also. But if they listen to my sayings, they'll listen to yours also too. So they'll prosecute you. But the things that you're saying, uh, the Bible says that I'll give you a mouth of wisdom. None of your enemies will be able to naysay or resist what you say. So they might not be able to like you, but what comes out of your mouth, they can't They can't be able to resist. Like, damn, he's speaking the truth. Damn. The word, uh, the Hebrew chapter four, verse 12, the word of the uh, God is sh sharp as a two-edged sword. I'll leave that verse right here too. Okay, so you don't want to care for these things in this world. Number four would be God sends you other chosen ones to learn from. When I first came on um, YouTube, it's like some YouTube channels just start popping up. Like people, I, and I never watched those type of videos. Shout out to Fox 600. I learned a lot from his videos. His spiritual, he has talked about spiritual warfare. Uh, F-A-U-L-K 600, shout out to him. Um, I learned a lot from his channel and there was many other chosen ones where God sent me to, uh, to learn from too. So it will be either not, not only in real life, but on social media. Okay. Whether it's on Instagram, uh, whether it's, you know, any, anywhere, you know, any, any social media, so many social media platforms now, but God will send you other chosen ones to learn from. Okay. And as you're learning from them, you're feeding in the wisdom and knowledge that God blessed them with you feeding off of them. Now you're able to eventually, if it's your calling, you're going to start doing the same thing. You start making a YouTube channel. You start preaching too. The kingdom of God, iron sharpens iron. Woo! The kingdom of God got to, got to advance. Okay? This is all about helping the brother. And this is all about loving the brother, loving the sister. Okay? This is all what it's about. All right. So always understand that. He will send you other chosen ones for you to learn from. And understand that maybe not, not everyone is a call to be a teacher. Because the Bible does say, be not many masters, for we shall receive the greater condemnation. What does that mean? It means that... When you put yourself in a, in a position to be a teacher, you got to practice what you preach. If you're talking about semen retention, but you're still watching the websites, you're still fornicating, you're going to receive a greater judgment than those who aren't a teacher. So that's what the Bible says, be not many masters. But I didn't I didn't want to be a teacher. This is what God put in me. So I'm just being a humble servant. That's what he wanted me to do. So I'm going to do it. But yeah. So number uh, five will be wisdom to break free from demonic strongholds and demonic spirits. Now you got the wisdom. Okay, wisdom to fast, a wisdom to pray. Wisdom to forsake uh, whatever thing, you know, let's say like, let's say if you got like a website addiction, right? Um, so God's going to tell you, uh, don't go, don't go to certain environments. He's giving you wisdom. Okay. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. He's giving the wisdom to, to how to fight against that, that those addictions. Okay. Or let's say if you got a drug addiction, God's giving the wisdom to, okay, don't hang out with those friends. Delete the plugs number. Okay. Um, you know, don't be around certain environments. Uh, spend some time alone. He's giving you wisdom. There's, there's multiple wisdom he gives you. The wisdom speaks, guys. He's giving you wisdom to break free from demonic strongholds. Now, a lot of people are fools. A lot of people don't hearken to wisdom. A lot of people are not children of wisdom. Okay, so when they're not, they're fools. And they keep on making the same mistakes, same mistakes, making excuses. These people are, these are the type of people who won't change. These are the type of people who are not chosen. They were called but they weren't chosen because when you're a chosen one, you have to have wisdom in you. You have to. Now it's levels to it. Not to say you're going to be the most wise person or the most under, but you're going to have wisdom to understand, okay, I got to cut this person off because this person's detrimental to my walk with Christ. But these fools, they don't do, they can't do that. They can't. They, they want to be, they want to have one foot in and one foot out. Lukewarm. God's going to spit them out. God is going to spit them out. Okay. So always understand God's going to give you wisdom, give you knowledge, give you understanding. Even the Bible says that get wisdom and get understanding. This is a key in Proverbs. I reckon people always ask me, Mark, what Bible version do you read? I read the King James Bible version. And people always ask me, what, where should I start in the Bible? 
for me personally, I would recommend Proverbs. I've read Proverbs like over like 20 times because that book has a lot of wisdom. But you, can, you can't start from Genesis and you'll go forward. But for me, I would just recommend if you're like new to the Bible is to definitely check out Proverbs. So, yeah. Number six would be God blesses you with spiritual gifts. OK, now uh, this is this is not you're not going to get this the first day. You know, you know, it takes time. But one of the first things God will bless you with is discernment. Because if you're being if you're being called to be a chosen one, the enemy is going to send false prophets. He's going to send counterfeits. He's going to send deceitful workers, transforming themselves as an angel of light. Uh, so you got to be very cautious, and God will get, God will bless you with discernment. Discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so God will start to bless you with gifts. Uh, wisdom is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Knowledge is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So God will give you all these gifts. Okay, so this is the one thing that you know God's preparing you to fight the good fight of faith because you're going to need wisdom. Even the Bible says that wisdom is a defense. So when it comes to spiritual warfare, when people are attacking you, you understand that they're just attacking you because maybe God has a big blessing for you and now you have to endear. Okay, look what happened to Job. Job had wisdom. He understood that no matter what he was facing, that God uh, God was, was in the midst of it. God was in control. He had wisdom. Okay, even the Bible says this is wisdom uh, to depart from evil. Okay, I'll leave that verse right here. I think, I think I might be saying that. I think it's understanding is the part of me. I'll leave that verse right here in Job chapter 28. So God's going to start blessing with spiritual gifts and count on all joy. Even the Bible says to convert. If you're going to convert something, spiritual gifts. Convert to prophesy. That's what I think uh, Paul said that in Corinthians. So uh, always, you know, this is the stuff we should be seeking, guys, spiritual gifts. Don't be seeking that Lamborghini. Don't be seeking that the material stuff. You know, you want to be seeking spiritual things, so especially if you're, you're advancing the kingdom of God. You want to advance the kingdom of God. You want to be used by God. This is what you should be seeking, guys. Spiritual gifts. All right. Um, number seven is you start to love the truth and you become a truth seeker. This is the beginning stages of it. This is actually the beginning stages of a chosen one. But like I said, it's not in order. Uh, you just become a truth seeker. Like you just love the truth because before you were a truth seeker, before you loved the truth, you everything you've been told was a lie. Everything you've been taught was a lie. You realize, wait, we live in the matrix. Satan is running this world, and everything that they're teaching us is lies. Even the Bible says Satan is the father of lies. So once you start to break free from that illusion, once you start to take the red pill, and you start to see, oh, shoot, okay, I, everything I've been taught was a lie. Now, you, you really start to appreciate the truth even more because you, really, you understand how rare it is in this day and age, this dying, to, this dying society, you know, the, the, uh, the dead's burying the dead in these last days, okay? So you become a true seeker. All right, so number one will be uh, so seven signs. You're um, God's preparing to be a chosen one. Number one, you're isolated and you start to feel alone. You're going to start to lose friends and families and relationships. You no longer care for things of this world. God sends you other chosen ones to learn from. Wisdom to break free from the strongholds. God blesses you with spiritual gifts. And number seven will be love the truth and you become a truth seeker. So hopefully you guys learned something in this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and check out this end screen right here. I'm going to be doing live stream tomorrow at, uh, or no, Monday, uh, Tuesday, what the heck, Tuesday at 11 a.m. if you want to check in. I love you guys so much. If you haven't already, like, 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 subscribe. I'm out. Peace.